guys welcome back uh, sorry it's been a little while since I've I've done a video um, to be honest I've not really been buying that kind of I went through a little bit of a period I wasn't really buying that many cards um, I was trying to kind of put a little bit of money aside to, to work on buying some some bigger cards which is obviously what this video is about um, so yeah I've, I've pretty much just been working on trying to sell sell my stuff through eBay and, and kind of working hard at that side of things so yeah this video is, is kind of predominantly about this um, I had been watching this card that was for sale on a a Japanese um, singles site that I buy cards from uh, it was listed there for months the, I think initially it was maybe about 650,000 yen something like that um, the, the condition on it obviously it's a, a PSA 6 is what, I, what it came back as but I think the pictures um, for the condition is kind of what put people off buying it because a lot of people I know were watching it um, so yeah initially I think it was about 650,000 yen and the price gradually kind of came down to a point that I was comfortable buying it. Um, to be honest, I could have bought it for a couple of hundred dollars cheaper at one point because they, they run a sale once a week or so where they take off a certain percentage from absolutely everything on their store. So I could have got it a little bit cheaper. Um, I ended up just pulling the trigger because uh, one of my good friends, Mason, um, one of his, he had a PSA 2 that had sold for about seven and a half thousand dollars on eBay. Um, and as soon as I kind of seen the, seen that kind of what we call a price confirmation, I decided just to go ahead and buy it because I didn't think it was going to be any worse condition wise. So yeah, it turned up. Um, to be honest, I expected it to grade a PSA, probably more like a four, uh, maybe a five. The the reason I'd kind of thought that I know you cannot compare a PSA's grading skill to CGC's, but I've got this. Um, CGC 6, the, the corrected damage typhlosion, which is the 60 plus variant, and you can see the kind of the kind of scratching that's going on, although this is a holofoil card, again it's slightly different, but the kind of level of um, the level of scratching that was going on in the surface, it's the same kind of round here, although it's more difficult to tell, but it had a very similar edge wear, um, it's an old back card, so kind of somewhat comparable. Um, but yeah, this one, although it didn't have the same kind of amount of like these scuffs that are all in clusters, it wasn't really quite as bad as that. Some of the scratching on the back was a bit longer. Um, the front itself is very, it's, it's actually pretty clean. I think if you were to look at that without the, without the grade from the front, it really looks like a nice card. But yeah, it's got some scratching more around the top uh, and the bottom, but the edges itself, I don't really know if I'll be able to show it or not in this video, but there's a little kind of white chip there, a little bit of whitening on the corner, um, and then a little bit kind of down the side, but certainly, certainly not bad. Um, I mean, it's a, what's that, 20, 24-year-old card, so it's, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm really pleased with it. The only thing on the front is this little kind of bit of a, uh, bit of wear down in the corner as well it's ever so slightly off center but certainly certainly not bad so yeah I'm, I'm really really pleased with it um psa nines have been going for kind of around 26 27 thousand dollars i'm sure tens have been going for a lot higher probably up towards 50 or 60 thousand dollars something like that so it's a yeah very very expensive card um when I first started buying cards back in October 2020, kind of six months into COVID, with my my oldest son at the time, um, I didn't I didn't think it was I was ever going to get to the point that I would have been buying cards as expensive as this. But as I said, I've been working really really hard on my eBay and um, selling some of the CGC cards that I've got back, and I was able to able to go for it. So I'm uh, yeah really really happy. Hopefully in the future it will. I'll be able to to trade it up for something bigger, or maybe sell it and and use the money to buy something bigger. But uh, for now, I'm just going to enjoy it and see what happens. Um, so yeah, really really pleased. I also got this, um, bought this card raw as, as well in Japan. Um, I think I paid maybe about mm, I can't remember ninety thousand yen for it, eighty five thousand something like that. And this one's graded a ten, so 
hopefully this should should get um it's been kind of auctioning off in the region of like two thousand eight hundred three thousand dollars so hopefully get somewhere around that for this card as well and i can then uh, use the money to to kind of fund some other stuff to to try and build up the collection but it's a very very clean 10 it's a nice card um so yeah i've not i've not really been making too many videos or any videos just now because i've kind of changed the approach and and how i'm trying to flip stuff or trying to work up so um i've stopped using cgc entirely just now um to be honest i don't think i can i can see myself using them again anytime soon um i was quite unhappy with the way that they, they grade centering that was a real bugbear of mine that you can have cards that are wildly off center and they get an eight five centering and you can have cards like this here that or, or even like this one here it's although it's not terribly off center um probably not as good an example as that one but you can have cards that are pretty close to 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 good centering you can't really tell if, unless you were to take out a ruler or whatever you whatever measuring device you want to use you wouldn't really be able to tell that it was white or kind of a lot off center i'm probably not explaining it too well if you go back and look at some of the videos i've done in the past that you can have a uh, you can have wild variations on like the eight five centering grade to the point that it just it then damages the overall grade um and the cards that you've got so that was kind of the biggest bugbear um was how they score the center and to be honest they're, they're pretty fair with everything else their edges their surface and their uh, their corner wear was all all fine on how they scored that um their turnaround times was another big one so their bulk recently was was advertised at close to a year um and it's not really worth grading cgc stuff at, at a higher cost at least not the kind of cards that i was doing um, and I can't really afford to to buy fifty cards and not see them for a year. It kind of impacts things whenever you're trying to build up your collection as well. So um, yeah, I've I've pretty much stopped using them, or I have stopped using them. Um, I'm now using PSA under their uh, their economy service that they do this lottery for every week. So these cards are are probably going to be cards that I'll submit to them. Um, so this first one is a a card that I bought raw. Again, just got delivered this week. It's a World Championship pack, Flurry on Gold Star. It's a first edition. Um, the unlimited edition of this is a lot rarer. The unlimited edition was apparently only distributed over the course of a couple of days, maybe up to a week. Um, so if you ever see the unlimited variant of these, then or, or any card from the World Championship pack, you should probably pick them up because they are quite rare. Um, not expecting this to get a ten. It's got a bit of kind of edge wear up the top um a little kind of nick on the top surface here as well that you can see so apart from that it's fairly clean so probably grade something like an eight or a nine um i got some of these e-series cards i got from a bigger a bigger buy of e-series stuff so this is one of the cards i think it's 10 worthy um it'll be interesting to see how psa judge the centering on these as well because the the, the center on e-series card is quite often off so yeah we'll, uh, we'll we'll see how that goes but i certainly think that they could be worthy of tens this gengar is pretty clean as well um so yeah these other ones i'm not decided if i'm going to submit them at the 50 dollar tier or not although i think they're 10 worthy i just don't know if the if the value's there because they are kind of slightly cheaper cards um if they get a 10 the values there but if they come back a nine i think it's more although there would still be a little bit of margin and it, it's probably closer to break even so i don't know what i'm going to do with these i don't think i'll sub these last two at the 50 dollar tier but possibly these e-series cards um but yeah as i said they were part of a bigger um a bigger kind of lot of cards that i had bought or, or a, a bigger buy of cards um i had bought most of these with the intention of trying to do or put them in a submission at some point but i think they look more like uh, eights to nines instead of nines to tens so i'm not really looking to grade them so these will probably just be going up that was a, a no rarity uh trainer card that i bought just to kind of check what the what the condition was like on this website that i had been buying from actually it's not that bad it's got a little bit of edge wear on the on the corner sorry corner wear but um yeah, I was kind of hoping that this card that would have been worth grading as well. 
and then just some kind of random um, DP hauls. I think most of the rest of this stuff here is all E series. Um, that unfortunately, is probably not worth grading. I think they look like uh, when I say eight to nines, I think they look more like nines. I don't think they would. Um, they've got a chance at a ten. Although you do see some uh, some horror stories with people grading PSA tens that they're uh, they can be pretty damaged. So it would probably be worth sending these in at a later date if they if they drop their uh, the lowest tier down to maybe I don't know twenty dollars, thirty dollars, something like that. Um, these three cards are also ones that I've put aside that I'm kind of torn. They look they look like nines, but to be honest, I don't really want to sub anything unless I think it's got a good shot at a 10. So um, I don't know what I'm going to do with them, but we'll, uh, we'll wait and see. So yeah, I'll, tr I'll try and make some more videos as, uh, as PSA subs come back. I've got one sub there just now. Uh, it's a five card sub, but it's got some nice cards in it that, uh, that hopefully I can do a little video on when they come back. Um, yeah, I'll, I'll try and start making some videos just with with things that I'm uh, I'm buying and grading and and selling and whatnot as well. So, yeah, thanks for watching. If you've got any questions about the the card or um, the story behind it or anything, feel free to get in touch. I'm kind of back being a little bit more active on Instagram and stuff as well. So, uh, yeah, thanks to all my friends that that kind of helped me get to where I am and uh, and and kind of. I've talked me through some of these buys and, and kind of gave me a good soundboard. So, uh, yeah, thanks for tuning in.